You said five. You know nothing. I know. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome to our first video demonstration. Uh, we're going to be making this lovely little 12 days of Christmas stepper car. Lovely. It is. It, it is, is lovely. Yes. yes, absolutely. So thanks for tuning in and we're going to go into the demonstration now. I think so. Yes. Yes. Might as well get on with it. Okay. Okay. See you See soon. You. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone, so we're going to make this fabulous 6x6 stepper car tonight. Um, as you can see, it's very, very festive. It's utilising the uh, resources from our 12 Days of Christmas range. Um, there's backing papers, there's ones from the toppers, uh, and also from the 6x6 um, die-cut and pre-scored stepper cards as well. So this is what we're going to do. I uh, also utilised some of the new um, red dew drops as well, so you can see those in action. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on making the car. So first of all, I've taken one of the die cut sheets. This is one of the, the 6x6 stepper cards. Uh, and as you can see, die cut just ready to pop out. All pre-scored as well. So all you have to do is just free it from from the car. You keep hold of your sentiment for later. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so there's the card. And all I'm going to do is just fold it. And with the score lines being there already, it makes it so simple. There you go, all done. So all I'm going to do is just take a bone folder and just give the creases a quick whip over just to make sure they're going to stay. Yep, that's going to stay. That's absolutely fantastic. So once we've got that, now what I've done is I've taken um, one of the backing papers from the um, 6x6 12 Days of Christmas paper stack. Now there's lots of fabulous uh, papers in here um, with bauble shapes and there's also the uh, four colours of um, of the, the song words, the lyrics from the song 12 Days of Christmas. So I'm going to be using the ones from the red. Uh, and I've also taken one of the toppers from the 12 Days of Christmas um, topper set. Uh, I'm going to be using, um, I've already used uh, a partridge in a pear tree, so just because it was the second one along, I'm going to be using two turtle doves for the, uh, the making of this one. Now all of these products are available on our website at the moment. Um, so there's no problem with getting hold of any of these things. Okay, I'm just going to pop that there for now. So what we've done then, so we've got our card base. So all I've utilised um, in the making of this one is just a little bit of silver mirror card. Now you also, I've noticed this fantastic decorative frame here. This is a, a Joycrafts square frame die. Uh, and the die looks like this. Absolutely fantastic. This is also available on our website at the moment. So we've actually demonstrated this on Create and Craft. Um, so that's now available on the website too. Um, so that's the card blank. So what I've done is I've taken some mirror board. I've already measured the spaces down the side there. And I've just created um, a silver mat for that. And also utilizing the, um, the wording um, paper in the red. As you can see, I've just cut that down to fit. So all I'm going to do is just map and layer those together at the moment. So I'm just going to um, use a tape runner just because it's quicker for the purposes of the demonstration. So I'm opening it up and just matting those down. Now what I find with mirror board is that when you handle it you tend to get finger marks all over it but that's fine because before you put your mat on on top if you just give it a rub over or just run your fingers up and down finger backs normally come off so okay and last down that I'm making sure I get the writing the right way up just mat that onto the top Perfect, even if I do say so myself. Right and down there, again making sure I've got the writing the right way up. There 
there you go. So there's the first set of mats down the side. Okay, now I'm also going to put a piece of silver mirror across the bottom. So I'll just run that. And just place that down in equal space. Okay, now for the sentiment, because I didn't want to put silver onto silver, I've actually utilised um, one of the sentiments from the set, one of these here, um, but I've also got a matching punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out from the, the red writing paper and I'll show you what I've done with that. So literally take the paper, get the punch, make sure you've got the right way up, pop it out. Now all I'm going to do for that, he's just trying to locate his scissors, there they are, over there. You can tell Ian's been in, can't you? Nothing's where it should be. Snip that in half, turn it over. Line it up and then just snip off the corners. So that then leaves you with two pieces, put it on the white so you can see them better. Like that. Now. All you have to do with that then is just quickly run a little bit of adhesive down one side, line it up and then stick it down. Again try and make sure you've got the other paper the right way up because the last thing you want is it to be upside down. And then again like so. So that then gives you a nice little matching decorative frame okay so all we're going to do with that is we're going to uh, pop that up on some 3d foam pads okay and then I'm going to stick that down but making sure that I line up the bottom of this with the base of the card there, of the, of the, of the mirror, because you don't want it to come below that and then just stick that down. Okay, so there we are so far, coming along rather nicely. Okay, so then we've got the mirrored um, die cut, which is the, say the square frame. So all I'm going to do for that now is take the topper from the 12 Days of Christmas topper set. Now I've actually cut this down a little bit. I've just removed the outer border because I wanted to see um, some of the silver when it comes through. So all I'm going to do for that is just pop that onto foam pads too. Because you're not going to see that middle. Now the reason I'm popping it onto the back rather than onto here is because I don't want to put the pad in a place where it's not going to stick fully uh, like over onto that little trellis pattern there. So I want it to be fully adhered right in the middle. Okay, so I'll take that, line it up, try not to get my head in the shot. There you go. And then literally just pop it down. There you go. Done. Sorted. Now to adhere this to the actual front of the card, again I can use foam pads or if you want to for ease you can just get yourself some shaker tape right down the middle. Or you can just stick it flat. It's entirely up to you on this. I prefer the dimension. So try not to stick it down straight away. Line it up. There we go. And down it goes. Beautiful. Very, very, very classy. So all we're going to do now to finish that off is we're going to add on some decorative dewdrops. Now for these 
Rather than use uh, PVA, I'm actually going to use some um, some glue dots. So these are the ones that come on a roll. So all I'm going to do is to stick those straight down. And straight down there in the middle of that. And then add the others. Equal spacing. You can find the glue dots on the roll. There we go. and avoid using things like PVA on mirror board because I find it tends to break, uh, take off the shine if you get it somewhere where you don't want it. So the glue dots are readily available most craft places that sell adhesive and they can be moved across. There we go so all finished there's card number one and there's card number two. Beautiful and easy and all done in less than 12 minutes. Hope you enjoyed that. And like I say, all these products are, are available on our website at the moment. There's the 12 by 12, not 12 by 12, the 12 days of Christmas square toppers. And there's the 12 days of Christmas paper stack. And there's the 12 days of Christmas die cut pre-scored stepper cards. And these are available in packs of 12, 12 different colours. So there's one for each of the 12 days in different colours. So you can do a really nice series with these if you wanted to. Uh, as I say, pre-scored and pre-die cut and very, very, very easy to use. So that's it for the moment. So thank you for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed it and you'll call back again soon. Thank you very much. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Well, I thought it was very easy. So there you go. Beautiful cards in only a few minutes. And as we said in the, uh, the video, uh, all the resources are available to buy on our website. I wasn't listening. Well, no. I was making tea. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. See you later. Ta-ta.